and proskapa lo samanta and frikata. Okay, sincerely, I, I I really want us to pray. So, but before then, I would just like to share with us the three, the three, the seven words that Jesus said on the cross before he died. And these words are really a really significant thing to our life. You understand that? All together. So the first word Jesus said in the cross is a father, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. Now this can be found in the book of Luke chapter 20, 23 and verse 34. Now what this means is that it's the significance of the mercies of God. So the cross reminds God of his mercy. So anytime God look at the cross, what he sees is the mercy. He sees the death of his son, Jesus Christ. And as a virtue of that, it reminds him of the mercies. So anytime where we sin or anytime where we are for short of the glory of God, what happens is that when God when we call on the cross, what we are doing is that we are literally calling first on the mercy dimension of God because the cross is a is a revelation of the mercies of God that he has to give his only begotten son to die for the sake of our sins, for the sake of our iniquity. So he sent his only begotten son as a, as a remission for such kind of action. So the cross literally reminds God of his mercy. Number two things the cross does is that he tells the, the, the cross, tells you that today, he said, now remember the, there was a man in the the man there was a there was a criminal with Jesus in the cross, and Jesus told the criminal, he said, Today, he said, This day, you say you shall be with me in paradise. Now, the cross there, the second revelation there is that the cross was a revelation or a, a it was a it was a it was an opportunity where the um, mortality find expression with what divinity and it was a revelation where the gate of heaven were opened this was a system that this guy was remember this guy we are talking about this guy was more like he was like a criminal he was a thief he was he was not a good person per se but at the cross mercy found him and not just mercy found him heavens were opened to him there was a opportunity for him that literally caused heaven to be opened for him so what the cross does is that the cross is a system to bring God to the paradise of heaven so the cross is what opened the gate of paradise the cross is what opened the gate of heaven for us so Jesus that particular thing that day found the gate of heaven by virtue of what the cross so he came in contact with the cross and instantly his iniquity his sin for this period of years was literally forgiven and that day he found mercy and instantly that day he was able to access the paradise so the cross so whenever we are celebrating this the first thing we should have in mind like i said earlier is first is that it's a system for mercy number two we should have in mind is that the cross is also a system for what for it, it's, a, it's a way of opening doors for opening the gate of heavens for us so that we can have what have the opportunity to sit with God in what the paradise. Number three, what Jesus said before he died, the last seven words he said. Number three, Jesus said, He said, Mother, behold your child, and child, behold your mother. This is a system for connectivity to family and to motherhood. You understand? This is a system where we value the, the parental system of what of that parental system is a an opportunity for us to value that closeness that relationship with family and loved ones so what jesus is saying in the cross is that the cross is a system to bring the unity of the family and you remember the family is the smallest unit of the society so if the family are united it means the unity is extended both towards the society as and to the nation as a whole so it's a system for unity i will together now and the next word jesus said he said my god my god why had that forsaken me and now this is a revelation that jesus was carrying the sins of the world you remember because the sins of the world was upon him and that time you know biblically the bible is speaking he said that the eyes of god are too pure to behold iniquity what it means is that god eyes are too pure to behold iniquity but at this time the sins of the world was upon a man and to a point that god cannot even look at his son so he has to turn for the first time that god has to turn his back so jesus had to cry say my god my god why have thou forsaken me so this is a revelation that 
anytime we we sin or anytime we we commit iniquity that the eyes of god god at that point can't hear us despite the fact that there is mercy despite the fact that there is forgiveness there is heavens assured for us but if iniquity is found in the equation that god will turn his back on you are we together now so it's a revelation that god in his own mercy does not seem tolerate iniquity in it are we together and the next thing we should look at is what jesus said something in the cross he said he is test are we together and they gave him vinegar i will following the story now so what it means is that at the cross there was a renewal of hunger there is a renewal of passion remember the bible said for Blessed are those that hunger and thirst after this thing called righteousness, for they shall be filled. So the cross is a revelation of a new realm or a new dimension of hunger. So whenever you celebrate a season like this, what we should think of, we should keep on renewing our hunger, our passion for Christ should be renewed by virtue of the cross. So it's a revelation that it's a system for a new hunger, a new dimension in him. A new, a new hunger for, for a new anointing, a new season, and a new open door. And this open door is sustained by a level of hunger. This this season is sustained by a level of hunger. And the next thing Jesus said there, I think he said it is finished. What it simply means is that everything it is finished. At that point, he came to a point where he said it is finished. The sickness finished. The poverty finish everything the lack and want in your family it is finished can we just pray in one minute oh kaparos kapalais lord by the revelation of this word lord it is finished that long awaiting breakthrough that long awaiting awaiting desire lord by the virtue of this celebration by the virtue of this season lord it is finished and she kapa kapaka. The end to that thing has come. He said it is finished. The end to that lack has come. The end to that poverty has come. The end to that to that marital issue has come. And she kapoko paratai. Lord, oh God, I join my faith with everybody connected with us this morning. And she kapoko paratai. Lord, it is finished. It is finished. He said at the cross. He said it is finished. And sikakoko paratai, lash kapanos kapakapakatai, and sikom pratali kapa. Lord, it is finished. Lord, it is finished. It is finished. And sikakoko paratai. He said, "What? It is finished." And the Bible could continue again. The next word he said, he said, "Father, unto you I commit my word, my soul." Now this is a relationship where he's giving his all to him. He's giving his spirit, his body, and everything to him. So the cross is a place where you give out your all. You give out your all. It's a place of death. So it literally means the place where you are dead to save. It literally means a place where you, you, you don't have a will of your own. The will you are with, the will you work with is the will of God. You come to a point where you have given up your all. You have given up your ambition. You have given up your desire for the desire of God to prevail. You have given out your own will for the will of God to prevail. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, what an awesome privilege. What an awesome opportunity. Lord, we are not taking this privilege for granted. Lord, we thank you for this awesome opportunity. We thank you, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are following us. See, before we pray, I would like to just do this. You are following us. At this season, you are not born again. This is an opportunity to come to him. He said, come, draw close to me, and I will draw close to you. This is an opportunity where God wants us to, to, to come to him because his death was a way, his death was a system to bring us to him. So at this point, you know your relationship with God is not is not intact, or you have not shown your relationship with God. It's an opportunity. You pray this prayer with me. You say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. Have mercy on me. Forgive me my sin. From today, I say no to sin. And I said yes to you. Forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name we pray. Now I'd like you to place your hand on your chest and say this as I pray for you. I pray for you. I declare the hold of sin broken over your life. The grace to live for God is released upon you. Today, I clean your name from the book of death. And I write your name in the book of life. From today forward ever forward ever 
And I pray for you, whatever be your heart desire, whatever be that challenge, I say this season, it is finished. I said, this season, it is over in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Adonai, for in Jesus' name we pray. Stay connected. Join us same time next week. Thank you. We love you.